In India, young people touch old people's feet to show reverence. Japan has a national holiday called Karonohi, respect for the aged day. You know the reason why advertisers in this country love the 18 to 34 demographic? Because it's the most gullible. Yeah. A third of people under 35 say they're in favor of abolishing the police. Not defunding, but doing away with a police force altogether, which is less of a policy position and more of a leg tattoo. 36% of millennials think it might be a good idea to try communism. But much of the world did try it. I know millennials think that doesn't count because they weren't alive when it happened. But it did happen. And there are people around who remember it. Pining for communism is like pining for Betamax or MySpace. So when you say, you're old, you don't get it, get what? Abolish the police and the border patrol and capitalism and cancel Lincoln? No, I get it. The problem isn't that I don't get what you're saying or that I'm old. The problem is that your ideas are stupid. <laughs> if you say, let's eat in the bathroom and shit in the kitchen, yeah, that's a new idea. <laughs> But I wouldn't call it interior design. <laughs> you think someone 80 is hopeless because they can't use an iPhone? Maybe the one who's hopeless is the one who can't stop using it. Mm. You think I'm out of it because I'm not on Twitch? Well, maybe I get Twitch, but I just think people watching other people play video games is a waste of fucking time. <laughs> Twenty percent of Gen Z agree with the statement, society would be better off if all property was owned by the public and managed by the government. And another 29 percent say they don't know if that's a good idea. Here's who does know. Anyone who wasn't born yesterday. <laughs>